Fake some Mars. This is a good one. <laughs> but why is the beginning space experience to be the first to brew beer on Mars? Kid you not. Now I'm gonna go over this and then I got a few comments here because there's more to this than what meets the eye. Then Budweiser maker Anheuser Birth announced earlier this year I wanted to make Want to be the first company to brew beer on Mars? Most commentators thought uh, has tongue lodged so firmly in its cheek that delicate surgery would be required to remove it. But the beer brand clearly isn't letting go of the idea. This week, announcing it's upholding its commitment and moving forward with the first stage of the plan it involves sending barley seeds to the International Space Station this December to learn about how beer ingredients react in the microgravity environment. So they're serious about this. And that brings up uh, some interesting information. Budweiser is predicting, perhaps wisely, that when we finally get us build a city on Mars, as we hope for by the likes of Elon Musk and officials in Dubai, its inhabitants may want to go off a year or two from time to time. And Budweiser wants to be there to brew it. Yet the ball rolling famous beer brand is partnering with the Center for Advancement of Science and Space, which manages ISS US National Laboratory and Space Tango, payload development company that operates two commercial research facilities within the National Laboratory. Boy, I never heard of them. Working with Budweiser's innovation team, the group will send two barley based experiments to ISS aboard SpaceX's next cargo supply mission scheduled for December 4th. Budweiser's barley seeds will stay in orbit for around a month before returning to Earth for analysis. Malting barley is processed and results in high quality malt. Use some Budweiser enjoy today and research from the ISS will unveil how the barley seeds react in a unique microgravity environment Budweiser explained in a press release. Now I'm gonna make a couple comments here. Sorry, I just got up so my voice is a little squeaky. I'm not a morning person, <laughs> but I am amused by this. Uh, here's the thing, folks. First of all, they're admitting one of two things. Either we had the technology, or expect to have the technology to fly regularly to Mars. And I don't mean in, you know, little uh, soup can spacecraft. Or, they're admitting that we can grow Earth grains on Mars. Now, either way, <laughs> we got a problem here, because they're basically saying, hey, we can, uh, it, they're saying either we can send the grain to Mars in bulk, because it takes a lot of bulk to grow, to make beer, I wouldn't know how much, but I'm not stupid. You have to have a lot of seeds to be able to do that. Or, they're saying that you can grow stuff on Mars uh, like grain. And of course, that requires combines and tractors and whatnot. Uh, uh, gee. Uh, we got problems. <laughs> They're admitting to something. I'm just not sure what. Well, apparently they're serious about this. It could just be another case of somebody who has their dreams that are bigger than reality. I don't know. 
Anyway, that's our mad science update. Thank you for leaving it. I'm sitting here laughing. Sorry, I can't handle it. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.